What's going on guys? It's me Jiggly and I'm back with another Minecraft mod block spotlight tutorial for you. Today that is on the Cyanite reprocessor from Big Reactors. And guys down below real quick, I do have a featured subscriber within the community as well as a featured comment. So be sure to go check those guys out, show them some love. And guys as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. Let's get into this, let's learn something new. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright guys, so starting it off, this is a uh, this is a really handy block to know how to craft and to know how to utilize. So that's what we're going to briefly go over today. And first thing is, uh, we got to know how to craft it. So the cyanite reprocessor is uh, pretty simple. You got four reactor casings on the corners, as always, for a big reactor's block. <laughs> you got redstone down below, two pistons on each side, a yellow ream fill rod, and a iron ingot. And now that'll give you the beautiful cyanite reprocessor, which I have labeled right there. So what does it do? Uh, with the 3x3 reactor, you develop waste, as this thing has already. If I come over here to my outlet port, we already have two cyanite ingots. And we have some already in storage. So we are going to go ahead and take a look at the cyanite reprocessor. As the name says, it reprocesses cyanite ingots. You need water, so of course I'm using a aqueous accumulator pumping in water into the cyanite reprocessor, which is filling up 5,000 MB, which is five buckets of water. And then over here, our energy buffer, it does hold 10,000 RF. And uh, yes, we got our input slot, which is red, and our output, which is green. Blue is for water. So if I turn that off, it'll stop putting water in. I can show you that once we start processing some, if you'd like. Uh, red is for an input slot, and green, of course, is for an output slot. If it has nothing on the side, it will not do anything, guys. And I'll show you that with the blue for the water. Down below, I do have power coming to it. It does take RF to power. So let's go ahead and put our cyanite reprocessors in. Let's go ahead and turn off the blue so you'll see the water drop. And then that pressurized conduit, it'll fill this water up so quick. It's, it's quite insane. So as you can see, it takes 1,000 millibuckets or one bucket of water to make one plutonium ingot. But it takes two cyanite ingots to do that. So now watch, now it's down to 3,000. I'm gonna turn this to blue, boop, and it fills it right up. That's of course because of the pressurized water in the conduits. So what does plutonium do for you? That's a great question. And that's what it looks like when it's uh, powering and working. That's the graphic display of the cyanite reprocessor. So we're gonna go ahead and take these four plutonium ingots. And what they do is they pretty much take the waste, which is the cyanite ingot from the yolarium, uh, Eulorium, I guess. Depends how you want to say it. I don't know. Uh, but you can eject plutonium as fuel. So now if we come back over to the big reactor, look at that. It's 100% full again. It's going to go right back up to full output potential. And that's all done with plutonium. So you can sit there and recycle and save yourself on Eulorium, uh, Eulorium mining. Okay? It's that simple. And that's what it's used for. It takes your waste product from your big reactor and turns it back into something of use which is a plutonium ingot and but you the only downfall is, is it's not one for one it does take two so you do lose a little bit over time but it allows you to reprocess fuel to reuse within your big reactor that my friends is the cyanite reprocessor that's what it looks like uh, as one or all together <laughs> I thought that looks kind of cool I don't I don't I don't know. You guys let me know down below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope this is helpful. I hope it gives you an understanding of how to use it. Um, yeah. As well as other uh, mod tutorials, guys, I do have on the channel. If you want to see a tutorial in specific, let me know. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Guys, I appreciate all the likes I can get on this video as it helps with everything. And be sure to share it with your friends and families, guys. And uh, anyone else who plays Minecraft, if you think they would benefit from learning this particular mod. Thank you so much guys. As always, take care. I'll see you in the next one.